everybody. I'm Ray. And I'm Paul. And we are the Arcanauts. And today we find out what happens when you throw a blood orange into a wheat beer. And so Ray, why don't you give us the tale of the tape? From Indie Ale House Brewing, we have got Prairie Coast Pale Wheat Ale with Blood Orange. Looking forward to this one. It's 4.7% ABV, so it's nice and light. And who knows what the IBUs are, because I couldn't find it. I'm kind of curious to see what this Prairie Coast beer has in store for us. So why don't we crack these babies open and let's find out what's in the class. Absolutely. That looks good. That's hazy. It's a very wheat beer kind of color. It's not super nosy. Like I get a, a doughy citrus smell coming out yeah. of my, my head. Let's have a sip. Let's find out what's 100%. in this beer. Just Cheers. Pause. Cheers, Cheers, everybody. Oh, that's a kick in the back of the throat. I could, I could definitely taste that citrus right afterwards. I like I said, it really just is very pronounced. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, the blood orange is there. It's not overly hoppy. It's very mild. And as you said, super smooth. I like this. I bet you this is 35 to 40 IBUs. This would be a great summer beer. Oh, geez, yeah. On a hot summer's day, golfing, mowing the lawn. I think we, I say that a lot. Mm -hmm. Golfing, mowing the lawn is generally when I'm going to be drinking a beer on a hot day. Yep. Like I said earlier, these guys are out of uh, Toronto, Ontario. There's like a plethora of different breweries out there. there really, it's almost like a maze. Or as the Indians call it, maze. But maze as in like, there's so many different varieties of breweries in Toronto. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to segregate what's what's good and what's bad unless you taste them all. It's true. Right? Based on what I'm, what I'm tasting here, I want to try more beer from these guys. I really like this. It's super smooth. Now you're saying you were enjoying the can art on this thing. What was yes. what what about that can art that you like? I, I just like the color combination. And they've called it Prairie Coast. There are no coasts in the prairies. So that's kind of weird. So it says, welcome to the golden fields of the Prairie Coast. Well, because there's like a sea of wheat. It was at that moment I realized. It's freaking brilliant. I did not think of that. The Alcanaz, we also do marketing. Can you imagine? Us doing marketing? Our fee is 24 beers. <laughs> Every time, we, every time we do our taxes, like, why do we keep losing money every year? But we're always drunk. We're always drunk. So I guess That's probably why we're losing money all the time. That's probably why we're losing money. I think it is time for the chug. Ray, I'd like you to explain the rules of the chug like you were walking through a wheat field and this is the most peaceful moment in your entire life. I'm going to channel my inner Bob Ross. Okay, my friends. It's the most beautiful scene I've seen in my life. When I count down from three, we're going to chug these in an awful hurry. It's just so beautiful. I almost want to cry. The wheat just goes on forever and ever. I'm going to count back from three to two to one to zero, and I'm going to say go, and we're going to chug this beautiful, wonderful Prairie Coast beer. I'm almost afraid and sad to see it go. Let it go. Two to one, go. Let me start us off on this guy here. Prairie Coast, very smooth wheat ale beer. I find the flavors kind of blend in, that blood orange, the hops, very delectable and not overwhelming in any, in any aspect. If I'm gonna buy a certain amount of this beer, I'm gonna say, I'll go a 12 pack. This is one that I'm gonna keep in the fridge if I can find more of it. It's it's good. The blood orange, it's, it's kind of mellow. Uh, and I like the fact that it mellows it out. It's a 12 pack for sure. In the Ale House Brewing Company out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, you've done good by our scales. And with that being said, I'm Paul. And I'm Ray. And we are the Alkanauts. Cheers all. Take care.